Disadvantaged pupils should not be used as an excuse by schools for chronic underachievement, the head of Ofsted has said. Amanda Spielmer, the education watchdog's chief inspector, hit out at a culture of disadvantaged one-upmanship as she launched her first annual report. It shows that 130 schools in England have not recorded a good inspection in the last 10 years despite receiving considerable attention and investment. Others facing similar challenges have been able to achieve success, showing improvement is possible, it states. The Shadow Education Secretary, Angela Rayner, said schools were struggling with government policies, which had caused problems with teacher recruitment and pay, while increasing their workload. Speaking at the launch of the report, Spielmer will say, there is no doubt that the leadership challenge facing some schools is great. But progress is possible and we should all be wary of using the makeup of a school community as an excuse for underperformance. I do find myself frustrated with the culture of disadvantage one-upmanship that has emerged in some places. More than 500 primary schools and around 200 secondaries have been judged as requiring improvement or being satisfactory at their last two inspections, according to the report. Of those inspected this year, Around 80 primary and 50 secondary schools were found not to have been rated good or outstanding at any point since 2005. And stable leadership, high staff turnover and difficulties recruiting were noted as shared characteristics between these schools, while many had high proportions of pupils from deprived areas. Rayner told BBC Radio 4 yesterday program, the government have missed their teacher recruitment target. One in three of our Shore Start centres have closed. Many teachers have lost up to £5,000 of their real terms wage over this period. But it's not just about money. It's the workload, the pace of change, the difficulty with restrictions and being able to give every child those opportunities. The Chief of Ofsted has raised these issues. In her speech, Spielmer will call for support to be directed at consistently underperforming schools. She is expected to say, fixating on all the things holding schools back can distract us all from working on the things that take them forward. Schools with all ranges of children can and do succeed. Where this is difficult, what is needed is greater support and leadership from within the system. That means making sure the system has the capacity to provide this support. The Chief Inspector will also caution against the threat posed by a rising number of conservative religious schools which actively undermine British values and equality law. Overall, education and care provided to young people is better than ever, with around 90% of primary schools and 79% of secondaries rated good or outstanding, the report says. The quality of early years providers has improved, with 94% judged to be good or outstanding compared with 74% in 2012. The school standards minister Nick Gibb said, standards are rising in both primary and secondary schools.